Hey guys, Jalums here. We are doing another video for Gran Turismo 7, the October update. It looks like we got three new cars. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Update 1.52 trailer is out now. The October update, including three new cars. <laughs> Cool. Even cooler. I love that car. And I'm sure. So, as it's shown here, three new cars. I don't think anyone really asked for these cars, to be honest. But I think what people are mostly wanting is a GT3 GR. Group 3 or Group 4 race cars of today, right? So we'll go ahead and look at the update notes here. The Mitsubishi Lancer, the, the Nissan GTR Premium Edition, and the Toyota Hiace, or Hiace. They came out with a new color selection for the following model, which is the Toyota GR010 Hybrid. There's some additions to the world circuits, basically new events for the new cars that just came. There's been some updates to Sophie, which is, I, I, I don't mind Sophie, to be honest. I think it's quite good. I mean, I don't think it's like, it's hard to beat if you've got some decent skill, but I mean, I like the interactions that you can get from AI. So they added new two, two new tracks to AI, which is Brand Hatch and Dragon Tail Seaside, which is really cool. They added a whole bunch of cafe menu books there. In the maintenance and service for GT Auto, they've unlocked a bunch of the engine swaps for the so Mazdas, Mitsubishi, Nissans, and Toyotas. Carscapes, they added Chicago, which is kind of cool. Adjustments and corrections, this is probably the one that, that I feel has some importance to me, although not really, because they are very vague. It looks like they did some work on the vehicle physics simulation adjusted the controllability of some cars very vague measures for front lift during cornering measures for oversteers over braking during braking i mean adjust abs control turning brake assist features linked applied to brake pressure and another one that kind of matters is the steering controller uh this is for most people that have the fanatec podium to better suit the torque mode when high torque mode is selected it will set the optimum parameters in low torque mode, the force feedback will be weaker, obviously. Please adjust settings and custom setup. And I'll show the setup here. And then on one of the tracks, they extended uh, surface paint area to the entry of uh, Norwand in reverse to improve visibility. So it's a very lackluster update. They came with new three new cars, which is great, but I feel that people really need and want more group three and group four cars to kind of keep the game up to date to give it a little bit of a little bit of change uh is good because i even i'm getting kind of tired of seeing the meta cars be always meta and in more than one track so it'd be nice to see uh, new cars come along and, and kind of stir it up a little bit so please uh gran turismo polyphony Kaz, please add more group three and group four cars and ones that are more closer to today's era rather than yesterday's eras or, or the older eras. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. Please like and subscribe. Jalem's out. Peace.